Hello. Happy Humber Wednesday. On a Wednesday. This is the Sparrowhawk Bitter. We've seen it a few times now. It's getting clearer and clearer. And of course, by the time the keg kicks, it'll be clear as anything. But uh, yeah, starting to get the biscuity bits and pieces through. And uh, yes, I'm enjoying this. Definitely, as I said before, a keeper. We'll definitely have. We'll brew this again. We'll keep this on the house list. Well, what are we up to? Well, I'm busy uh, editing this um, homebrew Wednesday to go up today. Lovely drinking beer. Wouldn't think it was 6.3. Lovely. Um, yeah, so busy, uh, busy sorting that out. Um, um, some of the content that'll be coming up. Um, I, at the end of last week's, we talked about receiving the uh, quake from Garden Quake, quake rather uh, yeast from John Anderson, and I decided to do an experimental beer. Do more of that over the next few um, sessions, weeks, and uh, put it together using Beer Smith. Excuse me. Um, yeah, looking good. What you'll see coming up is uh, a couple of snippets. I didn't go through like a normal brew day video. I think you've seen enough of those from me for a while. And uh, just showed you just some tasters. Uh, the colour's looking nice. It's in the fermenting vessel now, and uh, we'll put the quake in. Um, I'll put about a third of the packet in, as you'll see. Um, but it took some going, and I think it was because well, I had to have a word with uh, John, and he said, "Oh, he said the sweet spot's 30, definitely 30." So I put it in to the utility room where the washing machine is always on and the tumble dryer is always on. So it's and the boiler's in there as well. So yeah, so it's got up there, and you'll you'll see some bits and bobs from that later. I am noticing some apple smells in there today coming from the yeast. Um, but yeah, like like a red apple, as everybody said. Um, Certainly not like the greedy, tardy, horrible thing, but nice, nice. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, what else has happened this week? Oh yeah, yesterday was fun, sitting at the dinner table, and uh, suddenly all the power went off. Wondered what the heck had happened, and then remembered that about four and a bit hours earlier I had to put some uh, water into the blue kettle and some um, PVW to sort all that out uh, and clean all that out because I've terribly stained it's like an old mug of tea and I'm trying to get it, clean that off and sort that out and I've completely forgotten about it so uh, in Obviously, the water level had dropped, the element had overheated, etc. I've had a look at it today, but I haven't had the guts, I haven't had the balls actually to get in there, plug it in, and see if the element is still working. I've got a nasty feeling I've buggered that completely. So, there'll be a 30 quid for an element or whatever they're charging now. Uh, but fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll get back to this. I'm having pizza for lunch. Oh, uh, just keeping it clean and simple, I think, uh, for now. And uh, we'll get this up. Okay, guys, so here's to you all. I hope you all had a wonderful uh, Easter weekend and uh, four day bank holiday and stuff. Good stuff. Four day weekend. Can't complain, eh? Beautiful weather.
weather here today. It was beautiful weather this morning. Today is Wednesday, and uh, you know, grey pants and horrible out there. Hence the reason I'm getting this together and putting it up. See you next week. Enjoy. So the crisp for today is um, six kilograms of marisotta. There's 500 grams of special B and 500 grams of crystal malt in there. And uh, we're going to call this one the Clake Ale Special. Only because I've got no idea what I'm doing. A lovely colour that is. It's already ball off, so that's the first one he's doing in. So we're at the uh, end of the boil stage, but it's been one of those days, and uh, I'm probably at about 27-ish liters in there. So I think I might give it another 10 minutes, boil a little bit more off, and see how we go. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Into the cube, if we're not looking so good, we'll see how we get there. So, yes, well, mm, having to handball the bastard into the cube. Very hot. But look what I'm wearing. It could be fun. Now we've got a bloom on there, which I don't really want to disturb, but. Oh, to hell with it. Let's just go for it. Okay. Excuse the camera work. So there's not a lot of it going in. About a third of it. That's about a third. That's how much is left. They put a little bit more in for good luck. And then this stuff's supposed to go off like a rocket. Give it a go. Okay. Okay, so this is the uh, experimental beer that I've put the clay into, and we shall see how it goes from there. Uh, the starting gravity here is 1066. Alright, <laughs> the Battle of Hastings 1066. Lovely colour on it. There was more in, I just knocked it over before. Good job I'd measured it before I knocked it over. But look how lovely and clear that is currently. We'll see what happens once those yeasty babies get to work on it. The problem is trying to get it up to and keep it up to 30 degrees at this moment in time, but we shall see. You know, every time I start video and dogs arrive, my goodness. So this is the uh, Quake. It's in the hottest room of the house there now. And it's uh, 
chosening like the clappers. Bear belly blues, what color are my new shoes? <laughs> Cause my feet and belt buckle are things I rarely see. <laughs> my problem is not my glands. It comes poured from aluminum cans. <laughs> and Pap's blue ribbon's been awfully good to me. <laughs> and honey, when you buy my shirts, uh, 